There's typically two ways that we can actually create a wrap for a glass. The first is to create the page size in Corel Draw, so it it basically is the size of the wrap. So, for example, if my circumference of my glass was 10 inches, I can make my page height 10 inches, and I could place my images on the page that way. In this tutorial, we'll actually look at creating individual images, and then we'll place them in the actual Trotec driver so that they appear in each of the coordinates that we need. For this tutorial, I'm going to create four images and they will be wrapped all the way around the wine glass. Each quadrant I'm going to be working with, there's going to be four, is going to be 2.5 inches wide. Thus, my logo, if I select it, you'll notice it's less than two and a half inches. In this case, I've made it somewhere around, well, I've kept the height about one inch. I'm a little bit under two inches on the width. I need to keep at least this number has, the width has to be less than 2.5 and, and probably presumably maybe less than maybe 2.3 unless I want the actual wings to be touching. In this case, I want space between the logos. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have about a half an inch between each logo basically like two and a half minus two, which is about a half an inch. So I've got my logo selected. Notice that the logo is upside down because the cone for my rotary attachments is actually on the right side of the of, of my rotary attachment. Thus the top of my glass will be at the right side. Therefore, I need to have my image upside down. If my cone is at the left side, then I'd have my image right side up. Now that I've created my logo and I've resized it and Rotate it 180 degrees. The next thing I need to do now is print the actual image over to Job Control. The way I do that is to go to File, Print. I've got the Trotec driver selected. I'm going to slide down here. Notice that I still have my image selected and its size is here. This is important because I'm going to actually transfer this size into the size of the page. However, I'm going to increase the page size by 10 thou because we can't go right to the edge of the page in Corel. We've got to get 5 thou border all the way around or Corel won't print whatever falls within that 5 thou edge of the page. So I'm going to have to increase the size. So it's important for me to see this when I type in the page size so I don't forget it. So I'm going to go to Preferences. So I'm going to type in here. I'm going to drop this down. Let's move this over a little bit so we can see it. Bring this up. So I'm going to go 1. 0.962, that's 10 thou there, and then this is going to be 1.01. .01. These are 10 thou bigger than here. I'm going to go to my power and speed settings. I'm going to set, I'm going to select my database if I want, or again, I can just plug in my power and speeds, say OK. I'll set my DPI, and I'm going to say OK. Now notice that I actually don't get a print preview here. That basically means that if I send this job over to the printer driver, I'm actually not going to see anything. So I've got one more step to do. I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to say reposition to the center of the page. And there's my image that shows up on the page. Back to general. Notice I've got a bit of a border around the outside of the page, which I've done because we need to be, we need that, that 5,000 distance all the way around. And I'm going to say print. Now the job's going over to job control. As you can see, I'm in job control. First thing I need to do is set up my rotary attachment. I'm going to go to settings, options. I'm going to expand my tree here under hardware, select accessories, and I'm going to select the rotary attachment. My glass is 10 inches in circumference, which divided by pi is 3.2 inches for the diameter. Say OK. And notice here you can actually see my rotary attachment on the table. Now remember, this has nothing to do with how your rotary attachment is set up inside the table, but it's basically just there for visual reference. Here's my job over here that's been sent over. I'm going to select a job. I'm going to hold the left mouse button. I'm going to drag out the job, and I'm going to let go. And notice how the image rotates so that it actually is orientated properly. Remember, the top of my glass is at the right side of the page, so this is the way I want it to be orientated. 
now that the image is on the desktop in my workspace, all I need to do now is select it. And I can, as I can move, as I left, hold the left mouse button, I can drag the image around. Now notice over here on the left is actually my XY position for my logo. I'm going to measure this from the top left hand corner. And we know my position needs to be 21.56 on the X. So if we move over, you can see there's my image. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on my image. And I'm measuring from the left hand corner here up to the ruler. My Y has to be zero. So what's going to happen here is there's actually, when I send the job over to the rotary attachment, when it starts to laser, it won't actually turn the glass because the image is right at the top of the page. If my image had been down, say, around the middle, then I would say it was down here, then I would actually get this movement here of the glass before it actually got to the logo. So let's put that back where we want it, 21.56. Zero. Now I need to duplicate my image. So the easiest way to do that is just to go Control D, or I can select my image, plate, duplicate job. Now my image will actually, for duplicate, will go back to the zero zero position, which is right here. Okay. So again, if I zoom back out again. Notice I'm at the top left hand corner. Now I can easily put this over at 21.56. However, if I do that, it's going to give me an error because I've actually got a, I already have an image at the zero and the 21.56. So the best thing here to do is to put is to do our y first, which in this case is going to be 2.5. I know that because 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. So I want this image starting at the two and a half position. If I press enter, the image drops down to two and a half and then I can enter into 21.56. And notice how my image now is right here. So then easiest thing to do then is just to go back to play, duplicate the job twice. because I need to do four images. And I've got two images here. Doesn't really matter where they are because I need to select this the next one's going to be at 5 inches and 21.56. And this one is going to be at 7.5. And, and this is going to be 21.56. So if I come over to my glass, you notice here that I've actually got my four images that are wrapping. And the spacing is actually even. So the space that's here, space that's here, here, and here is all the same. So when I rotate my glass, I should theoretically have all my images spaced out evenly all the way around the glass. The trick to this is to make sure that you get the circumference proper. If you don't measure your glass properly in the right location, then when you go to do your, your images, your first and your last one, the spacing will be off compared to the other ones. So it's very important to make sure that you measure the right part of the glass that you want to actually put the images on. Once I'm done, just go file engrave and off we go.